no one cares. No one cares. Because then there's that thing that there's the ego, which I'm so aware of. So we had a casting director in called uh, Zerenica Cox, who is incredible. And she's, yeah, you get some amazing people into yeah, your Yeah, so it's interesting now that word spreads and more people now are contacting us and saying, I heard right. from blah, blah, can I come in and jam? Mm. And she came and, uh, from what she appeared to have the time of her life, and she came over to me and one of the associates and she said, I just want to say, and she went to say something really beautiful. And I went, before you say what you're about to say, like, there's an energy that you're going to be quite complimentary. I can't hear that. And I like didn't actually push away but I was like I can't hear it. and then our, one of the associates pulled her away and said we'll just make a note of it whatever but I'm so delicate with like that fine balance Edward Albert talks about this like there's a fine balance of like it's the whole miser thing like on the tightrope like you can fail miserably if you go too far one way mm -hmm. and then you can smash it if you go too far the other like, it's such a fine balance all the time but I, I can't I can't sit in the success of it because then I think I'll then I'll sit back and I'll relax mm -hmm. And it was so weird last night. So I left my, I had a meeting in the day and I went home and I was like, I've got to do a whole night of like admin stuff and like contact actors we've not, we've not seen in a while. So it's like constantly trying to like improve on it. Because if I just go, this is working, this is cool. I think I'll just, I'll relax. Yeah. I need to fucking relax. But it's like, <laughs> I, I also want to keep pushing. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't want it just to be three, not just, but it's, currently it's three times a week when we're adding film and TV workshops on. So it's four times a week. But I want it to be every, I want to have my, I want to have my own school. And I have loads of teachers that give a fuck about artists. I don't want egos or bullshit. I don't want you shouting at someone because you're having a bad day as a teacher or a practitioner. I want it to be, and I know that it can be about love and support and nurturing artists. I know it can. And I've, I've failed so many fucking times and looked up at the practitioner or the director or the person leading the room. And they've just been like, oh, OK, let's go let's do it tomorrow. And you're like, what the fuck? I've got to sit with this feeling of failure for the next like 10, 15, 20 hours. Mm. So I know what I'm doing is right and I believe in it. But it's just constantly pushing it. So no, it's the answer, I can't sit in it. Or maybe, <laughs> may, maybe one day when I retire. Yeah, I'm... and I think that comes with the, your message. If you go onto your website, when the, you've got that little video of you there and one of the mm. first things you say is no ego. Like, yeah. Don't bring your ego. Yeah. So you can't give that either. Yeah, at all. You know, you've and got to leave, leave folks. Like, like, exactly. It's, yeah. like, it's weird, we have soap stars come in every now and then and we don't talk about like, oh, I've just finished this massive show. Mm. And this guy was doing a Netflix show and he came and I was like, don't mention that. Because no one gives a fuck. If you've done that, that's amazing. I'm not negating that. That's incredible. Well done. But we don't need to like wave round our CVs to anyone. Like I don't know who's coming in. I don't check their CVs or like find out if they're trained. And just find that it. very tempting, don't they? They yeah. find that very much of like, oh, I have to show what I yeah. what I do and what I've done. Yeah. No one cares. No one cares. I think especially in in in, in a playground atmosphere, which is what lonesome is, it's just about this present moment now. And about you connecting and working and going, fucking hell, that person's given me the, and I'm, I'm gonna respond, I'm, I'm gonna be present with that human being. Whether you've just finished a show at the National Theatre, no one cares. Love that you've done that, I'm so proud of you, well done. But in this environment right now, it's about play and it's about freedom through art. And you saying, oh, this thing. And it's so weird when we have guests in, and nine times out of 10, they, they see that everyone sits on the floor just because I love the connection to that, like the earth, all that good shit. And most of them just sit on the floor with us, as in like, I'm not better than you, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not on a hierarchy, I'm not in a pedestal, I'm just, I'm here to jam and tell stories to you lot. And it's weird that some are like, I need to get some fresh coffee, and I need to get a table and a chair, and you're like, fucking why are you coming then? Because that's not what we're about, I think, it's that like tracks with bottoms mentality of like, let's just get, let's get muddy, let's get, let's get dirty. Do you, do you know what I felt from it when I came in and sat there in that room? I felt like you were building a tribe. Yeah, I love that. Yeah? Love that. I felt like I didn't know any of those people in that mm. room. I travelled into to central London. Yeah, didn't, didn't know you either. And instantly I felt like there was this almost like a family connection. Love that. Like within, minute, that. within minutes yeah. of sitting down in the room. Love that. I think that's so important because then you then as an artist relax. Mm. Whether you've just finished this show or whether you've not worked in ten years, yeah, you felt felt brief. safe. Yeah, and that's yeah. that word's thrown around so much in the industry, like feeling safe and you fucking barking at me. I, was like, I don't feel safe now. I think that the the idea or the concept of safety is like family and community and locking the door. That sounds weird. Like in mm. your family home, it's like we're safe. No one can get in. When we have that, and I think that's when you just go. You connect to self. You breathe, and you go. Now I can trust the process. I can trust the person in front of me and trust the art that I make. And that's so genuine. Like, Mamet talks about this all the time. Like, tell, stand still and tell the truth. Look the person in the face and tell the truth. And that's all it is. And we add different layers on top of that. Of course we do, but the foundations are rich in truth and respect and trusting yourself. And that stuff matters, I think. I think it really matters. 
And it's so weird. When, when, when we first started, it's like three years old in November, so it's still relatively new. This guy came in and he, he, he was quite a well-known actor and he like sniggered at this girl who was struggling, like struggling. And he like laughed and like tittered. I remember looking, being like, why the fuck are you laughing at her? Like, she's clearly, like, going through something beautiful and it's magical to watch. And I spoke to him after and he was like, he said, I felt, I felt so vulnerable and I couldn't, I couldn't show it. I couldn't show my vulnerability. And this actor could and I couldn't do it. And it's that, there's a book called The Four Agreements. I don't know if you ever know, it's fucking it's beautiful. And one of them is, nothing anyone ever does is because of you. It's not. It's because they're going through their own shit or their own anxieties or worries or fears. Mm. And that was what that was. And then I said to him, never do that again because her failing in that moment there was one of the greatest things to watch because then you just go, fuck, now what can we do as a room, as a family, as a tribe, as a community to support you? Mm. And sometimes it's just sitting. Like we don't, that whole thing about like, go on, like you go on. It feels like you're on your own, go on. We talk about like coming back home, come back to the room, like come back to yourself and then try the whole thing again. But you have, you have to trust the person you're with and the 12, 14 people watching you. So all that stuff, I think, is so important that we create this space and don't have dickheads. There are so many dickheads in this industry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't want to work with. And every no. now and then someone will be like, oh, you know, I'm just wanting to find out about this thing. He's like, don't come then, because it's not for you. Hmm. And someone, like, giving their point of view about that person doing something wrong, that's not even my job to do. And if they're a smart enough, emotionally intelligent artist, they'll know they fucked up. And that's beautiful because then we go, well, should we try this again? Like, have you tried breathing or have you tried doing this or whatever? We try different tactics to help them. And it's all, it's about, the, the, the tagline was called Progress Through Craft. And that's what we're all striving for, or we should be striving for. Should's a naughty word, shouldn't say should. We could be striving for progress because then you're like, I'm better than I was the day before. And comparing to that other fucker, I don't care. You're on your journey, you're on your road, that's beautiful. The only person I'm ever going to compare myself to is me.